Okay, this video tutorial on the use of the auto vision. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm just going to cover manually requesting a cross match on the auto vision. Okay, so there's three circumstances that you may have to request uh, a manual cross match through the workstation on the vision. And uh, the first one is that the interface may not be running. Uh, second reason is your network might be down, so the comms between our laboratory information system and division isn't operational. And the other reason may be that the test has been aborted. Now in this particular example, you see here that the cross match request, the forward and reverse and the screen only tests have all been aborted in the circumstances. And the main reasons that this happened is if the sample is overfilled, if it's underfilled, or if there's clots in the sample, or that the vision may also have crashed after sampling. Now, the, the, the main problem that we have is that the host query has already marked the test as having been picked up, but the test will not run when we try to rerun it either on this vision or on the alternative backup vision. So I'm going to just go through what you do in those circumstances. I'd also just like to point out to people as well that use of the error button okay it will tell you what exactly is the problem and in this situation it's an invalid liquid level in the sample in this example the sample specimen is actually overfilled so if I just click on show details it'll just pop up with the instructions and tells you what to do uh, or how, how you rectify the situation this really won't affect us what we will do is we'll do the remedial work for example, it says uh, remove bubbles from the sample, ensure that the sample tube is in the correct rack, make sure that the sample level isn't too high, and maybe put the sample into a smaller tube if there isn't enough, and run the test again. Okay, But our issue is we cannot rerun the test via the interface, so we're going to have to manually request the cross match. Okay, so I'm just going to take these samples off. And I'm going to request, manually request the tests on my backup vision. Okay, so I'm just going to log on here. And I'm going to place my samples on board. Okay, I have to make sure that my samples are put in correctly. and my pet cells from my donor segments and put them on board. That's red okay. So now we just go to the main sample screen and we just check what's happening here. Now as you can see, the samples are loaded on board but the interface hasn't messaged because the host query has already picked up the test on the alternative analyzer. So effectively we have samples on board that the vision does not know what the order is and it will flag it here, loaded with no order. So what we have to do is we have to manually request the test. Now, what we do is we highlight the sample that we want to do the cross match on. We go to create order and you'll see that the number automatically fills here. And now we want to assign the test. When I click that, I have my full list of profiles of all the tests that I can possibly run in division. And at the very, very top, I have the 0.8% cross match. Now you'll notice underneath it, I also have the option of a 0.8% cross match in IgG. And this is handy to use in the case where you suspect the patient has an autoantibody. It will just set it up in the IgG only card. But in this circumstances, for the purpose of this demonstration, we're going to use the 0.8% cross match. So on the 0.8% cross match, I click on add donor sample. Now I have to tell it which one it is. So I go to 
sample ID donor 1. Now you'll see that nothing has filled in here in the sample ID field, but you'll notice down here this list button has become active. So I hit list and it tells me everything that's on board the analyzer. So that's my primary sample, that's my donor sample 1, donor sample 2 and donor sample 3. So I just go into sample type, I have to tell it what sample type it is. Pack cells. And then I want to add on a second donor number. So I sample donor 2. And again, go to list and select my second unit. Of course, I have to tell it that it's pack cells. So I go back to the library of tests there and I click on pack cells for my sample type. I want to add on a third unit. Now you'll notice that I have to scroll down the page to get to the third unit. I highlight it, hit list and select a third unit. And finally, I just have to tell it what the sample type is. So I hit this and I select pack cells. When I'm happy with all my order, I click on save and start. And the screen should update. And there we see it, the screen is updated. It's after picking up the tests, and if we go into the results here, you see that the request has been made. Okay, so that concludes the tutorial on how to manually order a crossmatch on the Vision workstation.